Your whale watching experience took a dark turn. The last thing you remember is that your boat capsized and you woke up alone on this godforsaken island. You can't see any food sources around you and the guided tours only leave on the weekends. It'll be at least seven days until someone finds you here. On the bright side, you have options for collecting water, but is that enough to keep you alive? Here's how to survive only on water for a week. Water is crucial for keeping you alive, but food isn't far behind. After three days of only consuming H2O, your body will start to use up its fat stores. The metabolic reaction to break down the fats will increase the acidity in your blood and your kidneys will be working overtime trying to filter it all out. This can have devastating impacts on your health, leading to chronic kidney disease and diabetes. But when your options are water or death, you'll want to be prepared. Why could eating too much after this kill you? How could you desalinate seawater? And how could a sock save your life? Step 1. Use your clothing. Without having any food for days, you are deficient in nutrients, vitamins, and minerals. And if you think that you're hydrated, think again. You get about 20% of your daily water intake through food. So you have to drink a lot more than you normally do to compensate, at least two to three liters. You're on a desert island, so it's time to get creative. Try to collect rainwater with any container you can find. Of course, a bowl would be ideal, but you might need to resort to taking off your favorite pair of jeans and stretching them out to catch whatever rain you can. Step two, drink fish. Lucky you, you found fish near the island. You might think that you scored yourself a meal, but not so fast. Fish is high in protein and requires a lot of water in your body to break it down. This time it might be best to squeeze the raw fish into clothing or fabric to extract water instead. Step 3. Desalinate Seawater If you're surrounded by nothing but seawater, not all hope is lost. You can turn it into fresh water. You need to find a sail, a windbreaker, and a few rocks. Lay the sail where the dry and wet sand meet. Trace its triangle shape and dig a trench about 60 centimeters deep inside it. Place the sand you excavated inside the trace triangle. Keep digging until you have about 5 centimeters of water inside the trench. Make a divot in the mound of sand and lay the windbreaker down to form a makeshift bowl. On top of that, put the sail and heavy rocks on the edges to hold it in place. At the center of the bowl, put another rock directly above it. When the sun beats down, instead of evaporating, the trapped water will condense and drip onto the windbreaker. Voila! desalinated water that is safe to drink. Step 4. Use the sun. Finding fresh water creeks or streams can save you some hard work, but you still need to purify the water since it can contain bacteria and viruses. Running the water through your sock can help to remove any sediment. If you have a plastic bottle, collect the water and place it onto a reflective surface such as aluminum. Make sure it's in direct sunlight. Let the bottle sit for six hours if you're in a humid hot environment. In cooler weather, it could take up to 48 hours to purify. Step five, eat slow. Finally, you've been rescued. After a week of just drinking water, you'll want to hit the buffet, but hold on. You didn't survive all this just to be killed by ingesting massive amounts of food. Since your body needs time to readjust going back to solids, you should eat slowly. If you stuff your face, you can develop refeeding syndrome. Eating rapidly after being malnourished can potentially overwhelm your body and kill you. This was intense, but would you be able to pull through without food and water? How long could you stay alive? Find out here on How to Survive.